shop local buy local eat local do it all local that is what you want to do i've got two businesses that are here with me and i am so glad that they are we have stephanie sidnor who is here southern rustics look at all your beautiful 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 things here and i also have i'm trying to get all my notes here together eric and jd that's right all right Eric and Jay, is it Modica? Modica. Uh, Modica, said it wrong. <laughs> and Modica is what? Yeah, it's an award-winning cocktail and mocktail mixer that's better for you, low sugar, and has vitamins and electrolytes in there, too. Get out. Hmm. It's, it's real. So you're going to party, have a good time, and you're going to be getting better. And you are going to wake gonna up. You're going to be getting ready. better. That's right. It is exactly right. Okay, well, we're going to start here, Stephanie. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us where you are, uh, where people can find you, and kind of what all you offer. Okay, I have a booth at Consignments Plus. So, and where I'll, is Consignments Plus? In the Plainview Shopping Center, okay, Penn Station in Hirschburn Lane. Yes. But then I also have an Etsy store that has the earrings and the ornaments, and then I do uh, craft shows, pop-ups. I'll be doing one in Danville in September. Now, do you make all of this? I do. It's all done at Get home. Get out in my studio. Yes. Wow, so how did you know you could do all of this? Like what, just? Well, I like to experiment. I don't really have a favorite mm -hmm. medium that I work in. So I'm always, th this is um, acrylic and wood that I've been playing with yeah. lately. I do fabric, I do other wood things. Well, See, I, am, thing. I am not creative. <laughs> so you want people like me, because I look for people like you. <laughs> so I can buy it. So you just mm -hmm. do all of this. Yes. And then and then you offer it. So it's made out of like some of some of this, some of it, like I'm touching some uh -huh. of it. That is a uh, pattern plywood that... See, but it looks like looks metal. Looks like copper. It yeah, does. I touched mm -hmm. it and I mm -hmm. thought it was going to be metal, but mm -hmm. it's too light. How right. do you get it to look like that? It's just the actual product okay. that I start with. Yes. And what made, and you, then, what made you decide to do this? Um... I need a release after work. Uh, yeah. I am a teacher, so you... Okay. So she didn't need, need to say any more, <laughs> did she? That's she it. can stop right Makes there. Sense. She said, I am a teacher. Okay. We, I, we all I, said, I need, she's a teacher. Yeah, I need something. Yeah, this is, what, home, this so is what she does. And wine with, yes. And What's so, your, what, what do you find, like, is your is your biggest seller? Definitely the earrings. Just really? because they're they're small, people grab them for gifts. Mm -hmm. So they're they're big sellers wherever I go. What's the hardest thing as a um, local business person, do you think? I think just trying to keep it fresh, kind of be on the up and coming trends mm -hmm. and just kind of, you know, get things out there. And I know um, Leba does a great job with offering us different outlets so and i always participate in anything south end because that's okay where that's I'm where from. I'm, mm -hmm. jennifer so, rubenstein over there she's yes. like pretending like she's not here today <laughs> i'm not sure why she's doing that eric and jd i'm going to ask you the same thing what's the hardest thing as business folks what's the toughest thing yeah a lot of it is really just getting out and talking to people you know as a local business you have a relatively small budget but you want to be able to get out and talk about your product with all of the other local community members so finding those right events to connect with people getting in front of people and really being able to explain what it is you do and why it's important okay so yours is a little bit different than Stephanie like you're pa like you have to get that Package. It's a process. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. Like, it it's is. got like nutrition facts yeah. and calories. <laughs> it's a real deal. And, and it's like, I mean, you had to do all of that and 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 get logos and so I uh -huh. mean, I know people may think that's that's that, but that's a whole deal. It's, that's yeah. a deal. Yeah, we no kidding. Test the formulas, a lot of cocktail drinking, mm. it was a lot of hard work. Someone <laughs> has to do it. cocktail dog. Oh my gosh, that's that's some hard work. It's, it's drink and it's Modica. Exactly. Drink Modica .com. Why did you decide to do this? Where did that come from? You know, we met in business school here at the University of Louisville. We were taking lots of classes, mm -hmm. absolutely exhausted, but wanted a drink at the end of the day, and <laughs> everything Let's we just found. Let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. So my background is in, you know, cocktails and mixology, but even with that background, I don't want to muddle or infuse anything mm -hmm. after a long day. I just want right. to enjoy a nice drink. So 
We looked at cocktail mixers and they're all full of sugar, preservatives, chemicals, just like nothing we wanted to have in our drinks. Right. So we decided to make our own. So this can be for home. Mm -hmm. Yep. You or can use it for have, have you found that businesses have picked up on this at all? We are, yeah. yeah, we're in several businesses around town. Um, it's great for those as well. But yeah, you can use it for cocktails, mm -hmm. mocktails, and it's just a, a better for you way to enjoy drinks. So do you have recipes that you share with people or are recipes on the on the bottle there? Yeah, exactly. So on the back of every bottle, we have a recipe for a cocktail, a mocktail, and then a pitcher of drinks. Super easy for hosting and entertaining. And then on our website, we've got a couple dozen recipes that use Modica and a couple other ingredients if you want to do a more elevated cocktail. Okay, so there are people, and I, I, this used to be me, but I'm not sure that it's me anymore. I used to say, oh my goodness, I would love to work for myself. That's mm -hmm. what I used to say until I saw my friends start businesses and I just saw how hard it is. Mm -hmm. It's just so, right? <laughs> yeah. it's just so much. Um, what advice would you give to somebody who wants to step out there and start their own business. Yeah, I think it's advice that I got when we when we first started and it's just take the first step. Don't try to think like, just a hundred. Do it, really? Yeah, mm -hmm. just One take the first step. Yeah. What would you say? What would you say, uh, Stephanie? Would you say just like do it? I'm more of a research person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and everybody has to right find their yes. own way. <laughs> yeah, so you say research and, and, and see. And kind of, yeah, get, kind of get other people with, you know, similar, similar businesses to kind of help you along as well, too. So. Did you find help how to do this kind of thing? We did. Yeah. yeah, the startup community in Louisville has been really great. Lots of resources there, but yeah, we've had a lot of meetings, talked to a lot of people, you know. We, no, nobody can do anything on their own. Mm -hmm. You have to have lots mm -hmm. of help. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jennifer's way over there. Like I said, she's acting like she's not here. <laughs> Louisville Independent Business uh, Alliance. What do they mean to you? How, how do they help? It's just a great way to promote the small businesses in Louisville and in their the little booklet that they have. I mean, it's yeah, just unbelievable. It oh, they're going to tell me many, not to pick it up. I'm not going to pick it up. How many businesses there are? And because we start looking in that. When you're talking booklet. about a local business, and I'm asking this to all of you, what does local mean mm, to mm -hmm. you? Yeah, to me it is, you could walk into that store, you could meet the owner, you could have a mm -hmm. conversation, not a corporation, and it's probably the businesses that you love to see in your neighborhood the most. Mm. And mm -hmm. you're probably talking to somebody who either goes to your church or mm. lives next yeah. door to you or or your daughter knows totally. or something like that. Mm -hmm. well, what does mm -hmm. local mean for you? Well, I think also it's important when that you get that money back from your purchases that it you stays. go back. Yes, that it stays local. I mean, and you know, and that's the good thing about supporting one another with the local businesses. All right. Well, we want to make sure that people are able to support you. So for Southern Rustics, mm -hmm. talk about how we can make sure that, you know, if somebody sees something, everything that you have here, name the things that you have. Um, like I said, I have earrings. I have some kind of humorous magnets um really getting on board with the bourbon barrels i just dropped some of them off to um red brick cottage in radcliffe so they will have them there and then uh, some ornaments that also kind of double you know we we think ornaments just christmas but like the the cardinal you can hang it on a, a picture frame you know you, the legend of the, car, you know, mm -hmm. the cardinal with people who have passed away so you know there's other ways to use ornaments not just for your tree. So but again, is, so we can find you locally? At uh, Consignments Plus, mm -hmm. or I have an Etsy store, and I'll be doing some shows in September in Danville and the Floral Grind in Fairdale. All right, do you have a web, website? It's on Facebook, Facebook? Uh, and I post on Facebook where I will be, and all new things that I take to my booth as well. Okay, all right. And for Eric and JD, how do we make sure that we can we can support you? Yeah, you can buy Modica at Paul's, Rainbow Blossom, Cox's, Evergreen. We've got a whole store map on our website, so you can find out where we are there. And then tomorrow, if you're local, then we'll also be at the Maid Market at Melwood Art Center. Wow. I mean, that just, I mean, you must be so proud when you see <clears throat> your product like in those stores. It is. Do you so ever exciting. just want to go, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Oh, you act like we don't do that. <laughs>
<laughs> well, you should be. You should be very, very Thank proud. You. We're very proud of you. Again, uh, there you go. It's it's Modica, and make sure you support them. It is Southern Rustic. We're always so proud to shop local, buy local, eat local, drink local. <laughs> Just make sure that you support. All right. When we come.